Our faculty and staff believe in work, hard work, and they truly exhibit a spirit that is not afraid. War Eagle. There goes Davis. Oh my God. Davis is going to run it all the way back. Auburn's going to win the football game. We're about excellence and innovation. There's something about this Auburn culture. There's something about this Auburn family. I believe in Auburn. War Eagle. And love it. It's a, we're a football school, but we're also an everything school. War Eagle Auburn fans, and welcome to the Everything Auburn podcast. I'm your host, Auburn Communications Director Preston Sparks, and this is the place for learning all about the amazing people, places, traditions, and work, hard work, that sets Auburn apart from the rest. Seinfeld was a show about nothing, but this is a podcast about everything, everything Auburn. With this segment, we're going to take a look at how Auburn is developing tomorrow's leaders for the global hospitality industry, specifically through the Horst Schulze School of Hospitality Management and the College of Human Sciences. And we have a very special guest with us for the show, Horst Schulze, the co-founder and former president of the Ritz-Carlton Hotel Company and namesake of the aforementioned school. It's quite an honor to have you here on the podcast, Mr. Schulze. Let's start things off by having you first talk about your connection to Auburn. Well, I'm connected for many years. I was invited uh, 35 years ago or so to be on the advisory board of the School of Human Sciences. In fact, I didn't want to be part of that, but my boss sent me. So, but the first visit I had, I was very impressed with the dean, uh, June Hinton at the time. I asked her about hospitality and what should be done. She said, tell me more about that. What do you mean? May explain that. And she was digging deeper, and consequently we started working together. I started to manage the hotel next door at the conference center uh, with my company, not I, but my company. I got involved in the advisor board, got more and more involved to help and support, and I liked it. I liked the openness, I liked the atmosphere, I liked the culture of the university as a whole, not only the school. And I was very impressed with people like Dean Hinton, Susan Hubbard, or, or, or Martin, who was in charge of the whole hotel group. They impressed me. Yeah. More so than I, was, than I was impressed in other colleges. Honestly, I said that honestly. And I worked with all of them. Well, we're certainly honored to have you as a part of the Auburn family. You stay actively involved in the Horace Schulze School of Hospitality Management. So tell us how this program offers today's students a unique and truly differential learning experience. Of course, it's a great honor that my name is connected to the hospitality program now. I'm in the hotel business. I'm a hotel atelier. I started Ritz Carlton Hotel Company, etc. And we started Coppella Hotel Company, which is now rated number one in the world. I sold it three years ago. But I deeply understand the hotel business, the hotel colleges, and so on. And I believe, and said that with sincerity, that our program here, our hospitality program, is the leading hospitality program in America. And it's a great thing because hospitality is so much the future of any industry. Any industry, and industries are getting aware, I better have good relationship, that means hospitality, with my customers. Even if I have a hardware store, or a hospital, or a big bank, or an airline, or a cruise ship, hospitality is the differentiator in those businesses. And that's understood. And we now have the best hospitality program in America. What shocks people is that it is in Alabama, frankly, in Auburn, Alabama, must be kidding. Yes, come and have a look and see it. And you will recognize it right away. It is a unique program. We have a unique staff. We have a unique facility where we bring you really close to the whole picture of hospitality, including kitchens, et cetera, et cetera. But hospitality, you leave here not only knowing how to figure out the food cost, which you do in other colleges. You know what hospitality is, how to instill well-being in people. It's a very fascinating thing, it's an exciting thing, and you should be very proud of what you have here. Now you touched on the importance of hospitality management. Yeah. Can we talk a little bit about the need out there for professionals in this field and what we're seeing today in the world? I can tell you the demand is, is overwhelming. It's overwhelming. The, you cannot fill the demand. Mm -hmm. and there is no hotel company who will not tell you the absolute need, or restaurant company, or cruise ship company, the, dire need for real hospitality professionals. Yeah. You live here and you know the numbers and you know what hospitality is. Yes. And that's the difference. 
Are there big changes you see in the profession today versus 20, 30 years ago? Oh, sure. Look at the, the word luxury. Yeah. Luxury 30, 40 years ago meant chandeliers, oriental rugs, real art. Mm -hmm. Today, luxury means serve you the way you want to be served. Oh. Have a product, I mean, they, they, the millennial says, do it my way. That means luxury to them. Individualized service, individualized attention, mm -hmm. uh, fitting it to the individual, not making a difference because of chandeliers or points. The real differentiator is now how do I take care of you? So real luxury, so with other words, luxury has become more important. In fact, hospitality means luxury. There's a lot, a lot of technology involved today, uh, and that will be another major differentiator. Uh, take your, your, your iPhone, pretty soon you make the reservation on the iPhone, you check in on the iPhone, you don't see anybody, but you go through a check-in post, you call the elevator, you open your door, and you check out, and you don't see anybody. That means the industry, to a great extent, will go into a commodity of shelter and sleeping. Mm -hmm. But the higher end of the industry will go more into hospitality. Ah. And of course, the differentiator to them is going to be hospitality. And they know that, and many other people, many other industries know that today. You see, companies starting to know that the caring of that individual customer who wants individuality creates loyalty. To the extent, in fact, a major survey was done just recently. This is very exciting. 80% of millennials say, think about that. If you take good care of me, I will buy your product even if I knew I could buy it for less next door. Taking good mm -hmm. care means having good hospitality. Mm -hmm. That's how dramatic hospitality is impacting industries all around us. And isn't it great to know that we are in the forefront of teaching it and providing it? And true to our land-grant mission, Auburn is always at the forefront of bettering its community and beyond. So five or maybe ten years from now, what do you hope will become the legacy of the Horace Schulze School of Hospitality Management? This will be an international, very international school. Professionals want to come in here and want to have their people study here yeah. from around the world. There will be a waiting list to get in here. I guarantee it. I know it. I believe it will help even more define Auburn as a whole, as a university of true excellence. Let's delve a bit into your impressive background. What would you like to impart to those out there listening and maybe looking to start a business or you know, get involved maybe into hospitality management. What would you offer some suggestions, just yeah. thoughts there? Well, most of all, I'm, uh, I started with a vision to work in the hotel business when I was 11 years old and started working as a busman mm -hmm. when I was 14. Mm -hmm. Have a great vision, have a purpose. Don't just go on. There's too many people, nearly everybody, goes to work to fulfill a certain function. Yeah. No, go for the high intent. Have a vision what your function will take you to. See something beautiful. Make the decision for excellence. Excellence in life is not an accident. It's the result of high intent and hard work. And that high intent should, of course, refer to the place where you spend most of your waking life. That's work. That's where you define yourself most. What's your high intent there? Just to fulfill a function? I wrote an essay when I was 16. And I essentially said, even if I'm a dishwasher the rest of my life, I still can define myself as a gentleman and do it excellently. And go in with that attitude, don't just fulfill functions. You see, the chair on which we're sitting is fulfilling function. We're human beings. We should have a higher intent in everything we do. Tell me about what you're seeing in this current generation of students and, and just sort of, you know, how you envision their future and just how great it was to meet Well, that's today. another reason why I work with Auburn, just to be honest, because I visited, of course, in my career, the other colleges. I see a different attention, a different attitude, a different culture. That's why I like, like Auburn. And the students that, that I see, they were excited to ask questions, they, they were curious, and they ask future-leading questions. I always love that. As you run into and see the, the world around you and, and start questioning the world, 
I, I would recommend if you feel that way, come here and go in one of these classes and feel encouraged again. Very good. And I always like to give our listeners information on how to connect with Auburn. You can go to the College of Human Sciences website. That's H U M S C I dot Auburn dot edu. You can also check out raincenter.auburn.edu for educational information and opportunities for the community as well. And so in closing, Mr. Schulze, is there anything else you'd like to add for our listeners or maybe the next generation of leaders in hospitality management? It's a beautiful industry, number one. It's a fantastic industry. Uh, start off in the right place. I think this is the right place. You have to start off in the right place. We get there and then go out and get them. And because and they need you, they need you. In the finest industry in the world, in the most global industry, oh, a very intense industry, mind you. That's partly why I like it. It is intense, it's hardworking. It's nothing more global, think about it. The hotel where you're going to work one day, their guests from, from all over the world probably staying in the hotel as guests. Yeah. And not only that, the company that you work for probably will send you to Hong Kong to work one day, if you want to. All mm -hmm. you have to do is say it, yeah. you can do that. So this wonderful, international, exciting, fast-moving industry that is growing with opportunities unlike anything else, go and get them. And if you want to, and make up your mind really, have the vision to run a hotel company one day, you cannot fail if that's your vision and you don't compromise it. But you have to start off with the right base, and that's right here. Well, thanks so much again, Mr. Schulze, for joining the podcast and enlightening us on all things hospitality management. We really appreciate it. Hope everyone listening learned a few new things and grew their knowledge of everything Auburn. Make sure to check back on our show for future episodes as we continue to look at everything that makes Auburn so special. War Eagle. <laughs>